Hey guys, this is Bri, and it's November, so that means it's Epilepsy Awareness Month. So I decided to get people who have epilepsy and are famous people know that uh, this is uh, not a complete list. So here we go. First, we have the Icon Prince. Pop Icon Prince struggled with epilepsy in childhood. Uh, he died at age 57 from uh, 1958 to 2016. His profession is film composer and record producer, songwriter, musician, and film production, and much, much more. Next, we have Rick Harrison, the owner of Gold and Silver Pawn Shop and the star of the hit series, Pawn Stars. He has shared his uh, epilepsy. Harrison said, because of the seizures, I was forced to spend a lot of time in bed in my room and away from the television where I was uh, when I was a kid. Now Harris is giving back by working with the Epilepsy Foundation and helping the organization bringing awareness to his home state of Nevada. Next we have Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne revealed he has epilepsy. He says he doesn't know what it actually is. He says he doesn't know what it feels like to have a seizure because he blacks out. His profession is record producer, businessman, songwriter and rapper, and entrepreneur, and much, much more. Next, we have Sir Elton John. Sir Elton John struggled with epilepsy. And it is thought, um, thought that he has epilepsy was induced by his years of drugs and alcohol. His profession is record producer, pianist, television producer, musician, singer, songwriter, and much more. Then you have Danny Glover. Danny Glover has epilepsy and regardless had seizures for for a 20 year period. Uh, his profession is activist, television producer, film producer, actor, voice, acting, and much more. Then there is Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great has epilepsy. At the time he was diagnosed, what was the the scarred disease? Anyway, he died at 33, 355 BC to 322 BC. Adam was this Beastie Boys. Adam uh, was has epilepsy and even experienced a grand mal seizure. Professionally, he is a film score composer, recorder, uh, recorder, guitarist, strong uh, songwriter and rapper, and much more. Then there is Hugo Weaving. 
the Matrix star Hugo was diagnosed with epilepsy at age 13. He doesn't drive a car because of his highly risk of seizing. The profession, the profession is actor and voice uh, acting. Then there is Neil Young. The musician Neil Young was diagnosed with epilepsy in his childhood. Pro the profession is activist, film composer, record producer, songwriter, and musician, and much, much more. Then there is Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, struggled with epilepsy. He died at 61, 1858 to 1919. His profession is uh, is a statesman, politics, uh, police officer, historian, pol uh, math, and much, much more. Then there is Lisa Birmingham, Fleetwood Mac guitarist, Lindsay Buckingham, has mild epilepsy. Prof uh, he, his profession is recorder, producer, production, guitarist, songwriter, musician, singer, songwriter, and much more. Next there is Napoleon Bonaparte. Many books suggest Napoleon Bonaparte suffered from epilepsy throughout his lifetime. He died at 52, 1769 to 1821. His profession is politician, military officer. Then there is Luis Carnot. Writer Luis Carnot used his epilepsy to inspire several of his effects. Alice Feld in his classmate's book, Alice in Wonderland. He died at 66, 1832 to 1898. Her profession is mathematician, novelist, and author, writer, and much, much more. Next there is Edgar Allan Poe. Poe suffered from seizures. Historians differ their opinion, though, on whether the seizures were caused by epilepsy or alcohol withdrawals. He died at the age of 40, 1809 to 1849. His profession is magazine editor, poet, laureate, critic, novelist, author, and much, much more. Then there is Julius Caesar. It is thought Julius Caesar has epilepsy because he has seizures on a at least four occasions. He died at 56, 99 BC to 43 BC. His profession is politician and author. Uh, then there's Harriet Tugman. Harriet Tugman suffered from temporal lobe epilepsy as a result of a, a injury. His profession is activist write, and writer. Truman Capone. Breakfast at Tiffany's writer. Truman had epilepsy to be inducted by drugs and alcohol usage. He died at 60, 1924 to 1984. His profession is novelist, screenwriter, and actor, writer, and playwright. Then there is Susan Boyle. 
sing, uh, singing sensation Susan Boyle says she had a different, difficult childhood because of her epilepsy. Profession is music, musician, actor, singer, artist. Next, uh, there is Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh suffered from seizures. Doctors, doctors believe, were caused by temporal lobe epilepsy. He died at 37. 1853 to 1890. His profession is painter, art, and artist. Then there is Margaret Hemingway. Actress Hemingway has uh, epilepsy from the age of seven. Died at 42, 1954 to 1996. His profession is model act, and actor. Next is Jonathan Davis. Corn frontman Jonathan Davis believes he his epilepsy was induced by years of drug use and alcohol. The profession is singer, strong writer. Next is Michelangelo. Many historians believe Michelangelo has, has some sort of epilepsy. He died at 89, 1495 to 1564. The profession is sculptor, painter, poet, and artist, and much, much more. Next is Richard Bolton. Actor Richard Bolton has epilepsy most of his adult life. He self-medicated with alcohol. He died at age 59, 1925 to 1984. His profession is an, is an actor. Next, there is Charles Dickens. Dickens was believed to have epilepsy. He died in at age 58, 1812 to 1870. The profession is novelist, author, writer, playwright, and wrote a Christmas carol. Next there is Bud Abbott. Abbott has epilepsy. Occasionally, he has seizures on stage at his comedy parlor, Luz, uh, Lou Costello. Died at 79, 1895 to 1874. His profession is a comedian, film conductor, actor, Next, there is James Madison. Madison was diagnosed with epilepsy. He died at 85, 1751 to 1836. The profession is politician's author and lawyer. Next, there is John Robertson, Supreme Court Justice John Robertson had severe seizures and is believed to have epilepsy. The profession is judge, politician, musician, author, and actor, and much, much more. Next there is Agatha Christine. He died at the age of 86, 1890 to 1976. His profession is a poet, novelist, screenwriter, writer, play and playwright. Next there is Anna Curtis. Joy Davison, front man Alan Curtis suffered from crippling seizures. The disorder is known to be one of the reasons Curtis took his own life. He died at the age of 24, 
1956 to 1980. Profession is so songwriter, musician, and singer. Next there is Alan Francis. Football star Alan was diagnosed at the age of 15. He's still alive and his pro profession is American football player. Next there is Martin Kemp. Martin Kemp has been battling two brain tubers and has left him with epilepsy. His profession is bassist, musician, singer, songwriter, film production, and author, and much more. Next there is Jim Reeds. Musician Jim Reeds died from an epileptic seizure at the age of 51, uh, 1925 to 1976. Next there is P. Dude. Actor Pete du Duel developed epilepsy after being a in a car crash. He died at 31, 1940 to 1971. His profession is a, is an actor. Next there is Tony Costello. Tony experience with epilepsy drove him to be the primary sponsor of the Amer Americans with Disability Act. Uh, his profession is a, is a politician. Next there is Glover Cleveland Alexander. Baseball grade has frequent seizures later in his life. He died at 63, 1887 to 1950. Profession is a baseball player. Next, there is George Walker. Baseball player George Walker alarmed his teammates when he had a seizure during practice. His profession is a baseball player and coach. Chris Knox. New England musician Chris Knox used his experts with epilepsy to inspire the album Seizures. He is a professional musician. Mike Skinner, Greed frontman Mike Skinner, has suffered from epilepsy since age. Seven. His profession is recorder, producer, rapper, musician, actor, singer. So there we go. I hope you have fun. So bye bye for now. And remember, we all have disabilities, but we are much more than meets the eye. Remember that. See you later, guys.